Good morning, friends. A very important topic for those who want to make their career in SSB. And today we have two of our candidates, those who want to be an officers in defense. So all of you are ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So among uh, all of us, uh, we have a gentleman, and we are proud of uh, this person that uh, his son got selected in RIMC. And uh, today he is with us. He is from Delhi. and he will also participate in this interview okay so rimc you know very well the students are going to become lieutenants for all this yes, right yes sir so as your aim you also want to go in ssbs where our ultimate aim is say right yes, sir. to serve our motherland and shekhar's father is already an army man yes, right yes sir yes and uh, he has worked in army previously right yes sir, yes, sir. okay so yes uh, first of all i would like to ask about the candidate uh, i want to know something about you please introduce yourself sir yes, sir so my i am lavish miklani i belong to shri ganganagar which is known as food basket of rajasthan okay it is also known as mini punjab because of the crops which are being produced over here the supplies are to the old rajasthan is from here only okay uh, i am a graduate in law with 79% from mit university rajasthan throughout my career i have remained a first division holder okay and i am also registered with uh, as an advocate with state of bar council of delhi and i have also practiced practice in armed forces tribunal under the uh, supervision of wing commander ajit kakkar for more than one and half years okay so why you prefer jag as your career why you want to go in this section so i want to go in this section because of my personal motto as well as my opinion personal opinion which some people say that it is conflicting okay the opinion is that i think so the advocacy which is going in india it is not a positive advocacy it is a somehow negative advocacy because everybody from here and now we come to hear that advocates are giving bribes making mm, the judges right. corruption is being there enough. yes and they are not going in a positive way all right it is not good for me to serve as an advocate to our nation it is also a public serving uh, job it is a profession for a public serving public at large but nowadays it has become a very negative profession that it is going downwards okay and yes. so very good i really appreciate your concern yes mr chandrashekar i want to know something about you sir i am chandrashekar ja i belong to bihar but i recently lived in rajasthan i have completed my graduation from maharaja ganga singh university and i scored a 68% okay and uh, you belong to bihar particular yes sir even uh, the gentleman who is sitting with us uh, native place yes sir you are also in bihar only yes uh, yes so presently he is staying in delhi no doubt but uh, since you are from bihar definitely which place we would like to ask uh, sir darbhanga okay can you tell good things somewhat you know about darbhanga yes sir darbhanga is uh, uh, connected to patna okay. and we also know that patna is in the S- uh, center of the bihar okay and it is called uh, only heart of the bihar okay so uh, okay my question to you is as uh, i know already that your father is an ex army man yes sir so why you uh, like what you learned from your father so i learned my father that there is that the i the discipline is must be in your blood yes. and i saw my blood uh, and i saw my nations and i think that i want to become my fa- like like a father very good um yes uh, i wish i want to know about uh, rafael so sure, sir rafael is a multi role jet aircraft the air force has demanded this aircraft from the government in 2001 okay. but due to which is which we come to know that due to some political issues political interference we have not been able to get the rafael uh, due to the political inter- uh, interference because of that it has been delayed for more than 16 years now that we have not able to get the first uh, because the fifth generation air, uh, fifth generation jet aircraft okay uh, which is the best in its which is the best in this particular time okay. and we are using the uh, the planes which are more than 40 to 50 years old and our nation is air force is suffering a very very great loss we have occupied for a, um, about 1200 and uh, more than 1200 aircraft out of which 568 has already been crashed so it is a very major issue which should have been dealt about 15 years ago and our air force would have been a much good level in the international as well as national security very good and about garut 
so garud is a commander of force of particularly of air force the air there was no commando force of air force before 2006 only we were having commando force of navy and army only okay in the air force campus also we were having commando forces of army and navy only but in 2006 the air force came with a provision that we should also have an own commando force we'll train them according to our needs will so that they can easily come to know that what are the problems which are being faced by the air force personnel while dealing with anything which is related to air or air force or army and navy also okay and uh, what about indus water treaty so it is a treaty which is which is between india and pakistan for more than 70 years which the uh, the agriculture of pakistan is completely dependent on this treaty if the india stops water of indus satluj then the pakistan will not be able to produce its even a single crop it is a, a so much uh, important treaty to pakistan okay and it is our goodwill or our it is our good gesture toward pakistan that we are not able to use a single uh, amount of water of that uh, in this river or in this treaty the three rivers are included in those i am not able to remember which three rivers but it is a treaty which on based on which the pakistan has made three dams which are producing a large number of electricity for pakistan if we stop that water mm-hmm. the states which are being um, facing the issues of water like punjab haryana rajasthan madhya pradesh uttar pradesh bihar they if they get to use this water india will be the best in agriculture sector in the whole world it will be at its peak and no country can live without agriculture india is already being known for its agriculture in the world yes in various international treaties wto india is uh, making the points related to agriculture how agriculture can be used at its best level right. if we get to use this water the pakistan's agriculture can be completely depleted and india will be at highest level of agriculture very right yes mr shekhar what are your hobbies so hobbies are playing cricket and reading a motivational book that actually inspire me for okay. serving my nation very good so how you are applying these motivational books in your life sir uh, i read uh, some books like uh, che- uh, who moved my cheese okay in that book uh, author want to say that we should concentrate our aim okay and we should achieve our aim at, at any cost very good so uh, in my uh, in my life i uh, want to apply that things very good that's why i joined the india air force okay yes sir you can have your question please aap bhi kuch puch sakte hai sir अभी रिसेंटली जो है जो एक घटना घटी है उसके बारे में कुछ बताएं अभी जस्ट एक दो दिन पहले वी हैव लॉस्ट वेरी गुड पर्सन यस सर वी हैव लॉस्ट द ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गोवा श्री मनोहर पारेकर ही इज ही वॉज ही इज नोन एज द सिंपल लिविंग एक्चुअल सिंपल लिविंग पॉलिटिशियन ऑफ इंडिया देर इज नो पॉलिटिशियन लाइक हिम ही हैज ऑल्सो सर्व आर नेशन एज अ डिफेंस मिनिस्टर Uh, from 2014 to 2017 he has been uh, three or four times the chief minister of goa the people of goa loved him as their own family member um, very good you are having good you have it means you are reading this papers yes sir okay Don't see uh, can you tell me the three uh, different uh, sectors in our uh, defense yes sir. the details Sure, sir. Please. So the three main uh, defence sectors of our Indian nation is Indian Air Force, Indian Navy, and Indian Army. All are completely separate from each other, but they are always in coordination to each other. As they all are separate, but somehow they get to be together in one or another situation. For example, Air Force bases. In Air Force bases or Air Force in construction of uh, the roads of Air Force. they are asking to the army trained person who are best person who can build the best uh, roads or best buildings or who can guard them best who can train them best for them same as the navy also the navy is also using the air force personnel to train the navy pilots the navy suicide pilots the training is given given by the air force personnel only to them it is not that particularly that navy is being trained for them but the air force personnel train them they all are they all have a different uh, headquarters they all have a 
headquarters at different places air indian air force headquarters is at delhi the pension office dava is at delhi the navy headquarters is at delhi but the pension office of navy is at mumbai and regarding indian army the main headquarters of indian army is at delhi but it has several headquarters it has total seven or nine air um, nine headquarters at different in different states according to the geographical Divided according to okay. the zones. According to the zones. Very good. So, which one you like the most? So, in when I was a child, as a young boy, I liked Air Force. I wanted to be a, a fighter jet pilot. Okay. Uh, I don't know why, but I was having an aim to get a to serve or as play a role for my nation as a fighter jet pilot. But due to some issues, I was not able to get through it. and i got the chance to become an advocate and i chose as a, to serve my nation being as an advocate and i particularly chose armed forces tribunal to serve and to learn so that i can contribute my uh, existence uh, for this nation so that i can fulfill my dream as well as, as my aim as well as, as my childhood aim okay as well as, so why you think like in our india there is so much delay in legal processes what is the reason so the major reason is that we are not having a proper system okay and the other system the which is a more than the system is we are not having a particular number of judges okay which should be present to deal with or adjudicate the cases okay. this is the major issue but the government has started nowadays to appoint number of judges we are having a trainee judges but they are not as a complete judge they are not given the post of a complete judge their um, their cases are or their uh, their orders are being challenged from one tribunal to the other okay and the other thing is which is the negative issue is the corruption due to corruption we are facing a lot of delay in case in the dealing of cases or in the decision of cases because so how can we say that uh, what are the possibilities like how can we change this problem or we can uh, solve this corruption problem so the thing is transparency okay there is no transparency in meeting the judges um, in meeting of the judges we are keeping them apart from the civilian society as we are keeping our defense uh, personnel we are not keeping them in a uh, common society we are want them to be separate so that they should not be uh, falsely used or manipulated the same way we are keeping the judges as well right. but somehow the system is such a, in a bad condition that they get to reach to the judges also yes yes I, it is not on the table but everything is under table it may be noted that i am don't have any proof or something but as we all know somehow or the others that this thing is being continued and no one is taking steps to get rid of it okay. it is not a good Uh, thing for a developing nation right. as well as for any nation or any developing or underdeveloped or developed nation but this should be mm, means this should be taken away okay mr shekhar you tell me uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses uh, so strength is that i am a uh, punctual man and i should believe in the hard working and team spirit and uh, weakness is that i have to improve my handwriting and the fluency of my communications okay so i hope students that uh, whatever we have learned today and uh, there is a, this particular session you must have learned so many new things and so many new topics i have raised uh, from my candidates and they answered well so how do you feel uh, my question to you at pd classes kaisa lag raha hai aapko sir uh, the questions i think the improvement are fluency and the knowledge also okay. it's, it's upgrade our knowledge also. how do you find this seven days course so i find this course very important for everyone because it takes out the phobia in us it brings the real thoughts the thoughts which are in us but we are not able to take out from our tongue it is up to here okay. but we can't bring them out okay this is the real uh, plus point of joining uh, the pd classes so many people are having this fear that within 7 days how can it be possible to develop somebody for those what are your views can really be within these 7 days we can change yes sir we can change if we get the proper environment which is being provided here it is not provided to the to us at other places or i would say at our normal way of living we are not provided those yes 
play definitely the because uh, in our lifestyle we don't get opportunity to interact with people and here yes. you get this opportunity yes, see here we teach you a lot like more than your expected timing 6 hours 7 hours 8 hours so so don't you get fed up with this particular education no sir i don't think so because uh, if we spend a 6 or 7 or 8 hours we should upgrade our knowledge okay we should uh, have a environment So sometimes I remain very strict and scold you very in bitter manner. So don't you feel annoyed from me? No, sir. Uh, we get to learn from that. That this is our mistake. We should learn from that. Okay. Scolding is not that we should be taken as a, it is a negative way. It is in a positive way. Okay. So you take everything positive. Yes, sir. So here we suggest our candidates visit here for seven days practices. Definitely your aim, your education, our uh, dedications. We are always with you. And within this seven days tenure, your food and accommodation are placed by PD classes. Whether you are going for SSB or any other interview, we are ready to help you out. Other than that, you can avail our classes telephonically. You can avail our books. But the most important thing that we have provided you 1100 above videos in our YouTube channel. So you can enjoy those videos. You can learn over there totally free of cost. So it's a right time, students. I want your best wishes for both of my candidates. Please, in your comment box, give him best wishes, and both of them should be selected. I want this thing because when you go to our SSB playlist, you will find so many people over there. Today they are left in it because they visited PD classes and they have struggled hard. So my best wishes to you. Uh, you will definitely get Thank selected. You, to you also, you will also definitely get selected. Okay. Thank you, sir. Nice. Thank you, sir. Very good.